What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, and today we're going to be talking about how we play and record on our PC, and because there are tons of benefits of it, a lot of people have been asking, Barry, how do, how do I play this on PC? I want to play it on PC, I don't want to play it on my phone. Well, we are a partner with Bluestacks, and Bluestacks is giving out a, uh, a download link now, so you guys can actually play it on Bluestacks 100% free. Doesn't cost you a thing to use this program, and there's a lot of pretty cool features, including macros and a bunch of other things things you can set up to make the game run by itself so hopefully you guys enjoy this one if you guys are interested you don't even care about watching this make sure you go to the link in the description uh there's going to be a download link for you guys to download both blue stacks and infinite magic raid right there and then on top of that hit that subscribe button let's get going So first things first, when you do click that link, it'll bring you to a page that'll look just like this. You need to click this nice fancy blue and pink button, play Infinite Magic Raid on PC. What this button is gonna do, it is gonna download your installer for Bluestacks if you don't have it. Go through the whole setup process, should be pretty quick, pretty easy. Um, overall, it's, it's a very small download and then you'll also be getting Infinite Magic Raid in the app as well. Now, once you get it all set up and installed, if it doesn't pop up here, you might need to enter the Google Play Store like you normally would on a phone. And of course, search for Infinite Magic Raid. There it is right there already in my thing. And just hit that play button, hit that button right there. So that's kind of the easiest way. You'll notice there's tabs at the top. The more things you open, the more tabs you'll kind of have. It's kind of like a browser. It feels a lot like Chrome with the different tabs up here. But uh, yeah, once you're into the game, we'll show you guys a couple of the really cool features that are involved and what make it so easy easy to use. When you do get to the login screen right here, uh, this is going to be for Android accounts only, I believe. I don't know. Well, here's the thing. If you play on iOS, they are putting a fix in to let you use your Google account on iOS. I imagine if you log into this with these accounts, you should be able to play even if you're an iOS phone user on PC. Haven't tested it myself, but uh, technically it should work. If you are a Google account, you just click it. Click on your account right there, and then you are good to go. Now, the reason why we're sticking with this view and not the full screen view is because there's a few things I want to highlight that are absolutely amazing. First off, if you really don't care about any type of audio in the game, you can just mute all instances. It's pretty cool, and I like it. Uh, there is something you can do that I really enjoy, too, is you can actually create game controls for your screen as well. You can kind of see they're actually here. There's already some already preset for the game. Uh, but all you have to do is pick, th pick this opacity slider and you can pick exactly how like how strong you want it. You can also edit them and pick what your skills are going to do because the one cool thing is you see all these buttons. I'll leave I'll leave these right here. When we do jump into a combat, uh, let's see, where can we jump into a combat real quick? We can go into the Dwarven Ruins. You'll actually get to see how these skills line up now. They work out pretty good. Let me turn auto off because I always have auto battle on in this game right here. It just seems so, so simple. But you can see even auto battle is set up for tab down here. But you'll notice the skills line up pretty good. If you do, you can always modify where they're located. Uh, but they do line up perfectly. Even the stuff over here for four times speed, everything. You can modify exactly what keys Next feature I want to talk about is probably the best and biggest highlight of Bluestack. So there's this button called the Macro Recorder. Ooh, do I love this right here. So essentially what you can do is you can set something up to kind of cheat out the system, make it so that you don't have to be here continuously. Uh, one thing that is really interesting with this game is when you are in these battles here, let me get this off screen real quick. When you do go into these battles, um, there's obviously two different options here. Let me actually get this back off here so you can't see it. So there's the multi-battle multi system, which of course costs this more premium multi-battle stamina. But if you're all out of it, uh, well, you can just set up a nice, easy macro for yourself. So all you have to do is record the macro. And what you're going to do is essentially record your clicks. So... Um, Let's get out of this one right here. I want to do one that's very fast and very easy just to show you guys how it works. So here's what we'll do. We'll go into the battle screen right here. We will then start a new macro. We will click on regular battle because, of course, we're not worrying about multi-instance battle. 
and then we're gonna let it run its course we're gonna let it run the auto battle four times speed all that fun stuff bear with me a second let's get through this battle because i want to show you exactly how you're going to record your macro don't click your mouse on anything else while this number is ticking up here because that means it's recording it so now you are done you are then going to uh hit like the try again button right here and then all you have to do is stop uh it, it's very very simple you can rerun these macros indefinitely until you turn it back on and of course as time goes on you might want to actually tweak it because these macros don't feel that great because all i want to do is keep clicking on this button so you know what you can do you can set up another new macro we're just going to set this one up to hit that retry button basically over and over and over again and if your time is pretty close, it'll be very efficient. If for some reason there is a lot of RNG in your combat, this can actually be a little off on time, but still, you're not having to be at your PC. You're not needing to be at the game. Hit try again, again. And then all you gotta do is stop and rename this one here. Multi battle, if I could actually type. And uh, yeah, you're good to go. And now you can run this macro at any time that you want and you don't have to worry about all that energy that you don't have. So let me know what you guys think. Are you guys enjoying it on Bluestacks? Make sure you leave a comment down below. Be like, hey, Barry, I downloaded it. It's working perfectly. If you have any questions about Bluestacks in general, hit me up. I use it all the time for streaming pur purposes, for recording purposes. I use it for my PC, and it is absolutely amazing. I 100% am always behind Bluestacks. It's like the best emulator out there, in my opinion. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. So make sure you guys hit that, describe, <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Go down in the description. Click that link to download it on Bluestacks. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. I'll see you guys next time.